Hi, I'm Andrew from Paycov. Today we're excited to announce our new integration with HubSpot CRM. Paycov helps you save time and money by importing the deals and data from HubSpot into easy to manage quotes and invoices. We also integrate with backend accounting software, as well as credit card, ACH, and other payment processors. This video will explain how to set up Paycov integration in HubSpot, as well as a general overview of some of the amazing features and tools that come with this integration. If we don't cover what you're looking for, please reach out to us at our website, paycove.io, and one of our team members will happily assist. Before we get started, let's take a look at my HubSpot account. We have a few deals at different stages in our pipeline right now. Dunder Mifflin and Michael Scott Paper Company are in the early stages, and Pied Piper and Hooli are a little bit further along. At my company, I want to track a few details in my CRM about the deal. So for example, I have country code, customer number, and the type of tier here in a custom field. With Paycov, the fantastic thing about the integration with HubSpot is you can take these different custom fields and generate them in quotes and invoices, saving you the time and the effort of manual entry. To get started, simply click the Get Started Free tab. From here, select HubSpot CRM. You'll grant access for permission for Payco to be able to pull the information from HubSpot. From here, you're going to set up your Payco stages. In my HubSpot, I had stages where I knew that I wanted to go ahead and have quote and invoice. So for example, I'm going to put the quote stage at quote, the invoice stage at invoice, and if someone pays an invoice, I want them to be marked as closed one back here in HubSpot. Payco not only imports the information from HubSpot, but it will move the deal along if you set that up in the pipeline. If you have multiple pipelines, a button will appear here where you can select on or off to select if you'd like that imported into Payco. You can import as many pipelines as you want. There's no additional fee. If you'd like to connect Stripe, you can click here. We do have other payment processing options, or if you'd like to go ahead and skip this step or not take payments through Paycov, simply click this button. From here, you can go ahead and set up your actual Paycov account. Click Refresh Deals to import the invoices that are in the system. I can see, for example, Pied Piper and Hooli that were in the invoice stage have been imported into Paycov. Once you see your invoices created in Paycov, you know the integration has been successfully completed. But there's still one more step to take full advantage. Back in your deals, you'll actually notice that there's two extra features that are coming in with the Paycov integration. Number one, a little module that you can move around and adjust here on the left-hand side for Paycov that'll show up in your left-hand side of columns that'll give you the status and the date created for the invoice, as well as an activity bar here. If you click this button, it'll actually show up here as a link that you can go ahead and copy and paste directly to the invoice or quote that your customer will see, depending on the stage that they're in. You're going to want to enable this for any of the deals that you're going to want to track or see that data pop up in your timeline within HubSpot. Now let's customize the different settings within Payco from the data in HubSpot. First, I'm going to want to set up my basic information about my business. Put in my company's logo, the information, point of contact, if there's a custom quote or invoice number or sequence that your company uses, and any additional information you want shared on all of your quotes or invoices. So for example, payment terms, additional notes, or a message in the footer. Make sure you click Save Changes if you want to update anything here. The next section is the custom fields. Deal, person, and organization. The person field corresponds to contact and the organization corresponds to team within HubSpot. You can see, for example, in Hooli, I had the information here for these custom fields. I wanted country code. So for example, I want that gonna show up in the details. The customer numbers, I'd also like to show up in the description. And that final tier field that I had as custom field, 
I'd like to show up in the notes. I'll click Save Changes. Let's look at notifications. You can customize the emails that are sent to your customers. First and foremost, you can decide what email you'd like them to come from. You can set up the subject. If you want a custom signature, put it in here and click Save Changes. Reminders are a fantastic feature of Paycove. If you'd like to automatically email the invoice, you click this button. Our default within Paycove is to go ahead and have it be a manual creation unless you click this button. We also have the ability for you to go ahead and send reminders for customer for payment. You can send them as many days as you'd like after the initial invoice has been sent, and you can automate that process if you'd like. Make sure you click Save Changes. Next is Payments. If you'd like to use Stripe or Molly, you can sign up directly right now on actual Paycove. If you'd like to use another payment processor, please go ahead and contact us and we can help you get set up. Make sure you click Update Settings. Taxes can be set up here. You can set up your sales tax rate and service fees as well. We will be adding some new different features for international customers or people with custom taxes here very shortly. If you'd like to go ahead and make tweaks to your pipeline stages, for example, if I wanted to go ahead and change my quote stage or my paid invoice stage, I can do it here. I can also add or turn off different pipelines from this screen if I have multiple pipelines in HubSpot. And finally, from here, we can manage integrations. If you'd like to request integrations with additional payment processing partners or backend accounting software, click here. Let's take a look at the invoice and all the wonderful different data you just imported from HubSpot. So for example, my company, a number of those fields like country code, the customer number, all the different ones that I wanted to pull in here are showing up in the system. I can also do a number of actions here from Paycove. If I don't want to automatically send the invoice or I want to send a reminder really quickly from Paycove, I can click the send button here to go ahead and email it directly to the customer. I can also click this mark paid if I receive a check, cash, or if I'm managing my payments outside of the integrated processing with Paycove. I can delete the deal here, but it will not delete the deal from HubSpot. I can edit the invoice details too if there's a couple of things I want to tweak. So for example, if I wanted to put in a custom invoice number or a discount amount or a discount percentage or custom notes for this deal or description of what it was, I can also view the customer link where I can actually preview what this is going to look like for my customer. For those ones that have the integrated payment option, I can actually go ahead and see that I have a button here to pay now and what that's going to look like for them. If I want to view the deal back in HubSpot, I've got a convenient link right there just to take me back into it with this clicked on with the filter activity, way to access that link for that payment for that deal as well. We also can schedule a payment. If you'd like the payment to be a 30 day or a 90 day term, you can schedule the payment out from here if you have the integrated payments through Paycove. You can view the customer profile. So if they're a repeat customer and they have multiple invoices for you, you can see which ones are out there, how many are open, what the amounts are, and some details about the customer that are pulled from HubSpot. Finally, you can download a PDF. You just want to attach that to an email and have a nice, clean looking, convenient PDF invoice with your logo on it. Quotes are very similar. From quotes, you can see, for example, you have many of the same options as invoice. You can send, you can mark it as accepted, and you can edit the quote details. You can also view the link. And with quotes, you can see, for example, the customer can accept or decline. Once the quote's been accepted, you can automatically move that stage, just like when an invoice is paid in one, in HubSpot. So for example, I can see the quote was approved. When I look back over here at my deal stages, now I can magically see that that stage has been moved over in HubSpot. Then you can actually see the invoice for Dunder Mifflin has been generated. 
And if it's automatically set up in Paycove here in the settings tab, it would automatically actually be sent out to the customer. If you are using integrated payments or you're marking people as paid, you can see, for example, in the payments tab, what payments have been made, the total charges, total volume, and the individual payments listed. Finally, you have the customers tab. Once customers have been created in the system, you can see the total value of that customer, the number of invoices, and actually go ahead and find out a little bit more information about that. If, for example, they have recurring subscriptions, invoices, or additional payments. You can go ahead and check your account details here. Change your name, email, create a password, and add users to the software if you'd like to. Put their name, their email, and their password as well.